Welcome back to the Flying V CD player modeling video series and this is our progress so far we've modeled the body of the guitar and we've modeled the pick card and some screws and some pickups and I think now it's time to turn our attention to some knobs so in wireframe mode let's just have a look here all right so we're going to do some modeling of these knobs here I've got my 3d cursor right down here so I'm just going to go ahead and bring in a circle rotate x 90 and bring this up scale it down get the approximate size of one of those knobs zoom in a little bit all right that's good edit mode we're going to add a face heat extrude and we're going to bring it up just a little bit like that and i think we'll extrude again bring it up but we'll scale in let's get out a wireframe this kind of thing and then we'll hit e and extrude again like that and now we're going to hit i to inset pull in like that we'll hit e to extrude we'll come down a bit and we'll scale let's come out and have a look at that <clears throat> okay cool um, let's go control a and apply rotation and scale and then we'll come in and we'll do some beveling let's grab that edge and that edge shift alt and click those control b pull back from the center till i get a roll like that and let's put one two edges there let's come up to the top and get those two edges and do another bevel control B and pull and let's see if I can get two edges in there but a little bit of a smaller eh, something like that let's also grab this inner edge and try beveling that I'll just put one there okay and this is what we have so far let's save that before we forget let's pull this up and look at the underside if we can Away, I can zoom in and focus on that. That's fine. Let's go in and in face mode, let's grab that bottom face there. Hit I to inset, pull it in like that. Heat extrude, and we'll pull that down. Did I go come down straight? Let's find out. Yeah, I did. All right, that's just going to attach to the guitar body itself, like this. Okay. <clears throat> now it's not all that clear in the diagram I've got stuff like this to sort of point the, the direction you know when you turn the knob uh, I'm going to do something just a little bit different than that though uh, and very simple uh, by the way let's do shift s cursor to select it to bring the 3d cursor there I'm about to bring in another object and I want it to show up right at the knob shift a and I'm going to bring in a cube scale it down Push it out in the y direction and scale this in the x. Right, come on, there we go. Let's bring it up to around there. Scale this in the z though and in the x. All right, try try that. Let's apply rotation and scale. Uh, let's try over here in three. Let's go into edit and let's grab this edge and this edge. Uh, let me have to move it in a bit. Let's pull it down. Let's go ahead and grab this face and pull it back a bit like that. And let's scale in the X as well and do that. Mm. It's not huge, but it's hopefully visible and helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and apply uh, scale again to that. And from the modifier, the wrench, add modifier, let's add bevel of two, and just reduce the width till we get something we like. So like, nah, we'll try that, smooth it. Let's try smoothing on this. Um, <clears throat> let's 
that that'd be okay all right let's go ahead and apply that bevel and join it to this knob here so it's in the upwards position and uh, if we were to go to wireframe if I was to take that shift D and copy it I'll just uh, grab it and put it here I could uh, rotate this in the Y you know that kind of thing and you could see how that would that would move take that one duplicate it or copy it and bring it down to there and so we would have the three the three knobs uh, there now I was thinking about a couple of other things first of all let's let's label these gain high EQ, low EQ. All right, so shift S cursor to selected. Let's go ahead and bring in some text. Rotate X90 and set orange into geometry. And we'll bring it in here. Scale it way down. font tab and uh, for regular I'm just going to open a font Let's see if I've got fonts there yep okay and view and I'm just going to use this agency font and we will um, do that. all right Let's center this up again scale Into edit mode. Let's try that. Let's go ahead and give it some depth and a little bit of resolution. Make sure that it touches the surface. I'm going to increase the depth like that. Let's try that for now. Let's take this Shift D and bring it over here. We'll edit this to say high EQ, and we'll see what we can do with this. Now we can change some stuff down here. We can increase the space between the letters and the line space we can reduce. And I may need to make this text a little smaller. smaller as well. Let's see if I do this. Okay. Let's take this one, Shift D, and bring it over. Okay, good. And let's edit this. This is called low EQ.
All right, and let's assume if we were satisfied with those, you would select the text and go Alt-C and convert it to a mesh, okay? And then we can join it to the, to the knob. Alt-C and join. Alt-C and join. All right, and now if we rotate the knob, you know, the word will move with the knob, that kind of thing. Okay. All right, excellent. Let's leave those for the moment and we'll move on. Let's do the quarter inch guitar jack input. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a circular part and I'm going to extrude that up in the middle to make this part. And I'm also going to put down a hexagonal bolt like thing made out of a cylinder there. All right, so um, I've got my 3D cursor there. That's fine. Let's just go Shift A, mesh, and add a circle. Rotate X90. Let's move it up here. And scale. And that's fine. Let's go into edit mode. Have to make face. Let's go into solid view. Uh, actually, I'll stay in wireframe so I can see this. All right, so we're going to go I to inset. I'm going to pull into about there. Um, actually, no, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to add a face. We're going to extrude. Let's do that. Let's give it some thickness first. <coughs> All right, now we're ready to inset. About there. E to extrude and pull it up. That might go higher than it needs to be for now. Inset again, like that. And E to extrude and we'll pull it down a ways, just like that for now. All right, so this is what we have. Let's bring this down to the surface. and see if it looks too big or, now that's gonna be it. That's not gonna be that high, mind you. <clears throat> Let's, um, Shift test cursor to select it. Let's bring in that hexagonal bolt and then we'll bevel and stuff like that. All right. So I'm going to go Shift A and cylinder. But before I do anything, I'm going to change this to. What am I switching it to? Six. Rotate X90. I'm going to scale this down. Just wider than that. And then I'm going to scale this in the Y. Zoom in on this thing alone. Mm. All right. Let's see how thick it is. Scale it in the Y till we get the thickness that we like. Something like that. Push it down to there. Okay. That's all right. Let's select it and shift control A, rotation and scale. And um, I'll just bevel it by hand. Select this uh, top surface, Control B, pull back, I'll give it a couple of segments to round it off. We can also do smoothing. Just leave it like that for the time being. Now let's come back to this guy here and um, let's go uh, Control A, rotation and scale. Let's uh, Shift Alt and click that edge. And bevel that. I'll give two segments. So we get that, but now let's make a decision about this part. Let's come back here and shift unclick that whole row. Let's just bring it down a ways, but not too far. All right, let's see. Something like that. All right. It does seem awfully large relative to the volume controls. I think the whole thing maybe is a bit too big. Let's just look in wireframe and see. I think I may have drawn it a bit big and I, I might feel more comfortable scale shift Y, making it smaller. Let's just see what that would look like. 
you could decide if you want to do that or not. I just I just feel like I want to do that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, now that I've done that, uh, I will again do. I probably could have just done scale. But an edge selection. I'm going to grab this edge and this edge. And control B, and I'm going to bevel. Everything will be beveled. I only one, two is fine. I'm going to smooth this. Now I'm going to be joining them, so that may change some stuff. Now I'm not going to do a boolean where. Let me just pull it down a little bit. Through the bolt, and then through the pick guard, and then through the body. I'm just going to leave it like that. I know there should be a hole in there, but it's just a, it's just a model, and I will be putting a quarter inch jack cord in there anyhow so it's not worth doing I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to join these together I'm going to leave it like that I'm not going to join it to the body yet I might even want to change the size again we'll see but that's that cool let's go on the next thing will be the toggle switch right here so the toggle switch in the center position power is off in the upward position maybe that's the speakers which we, we've yet to model and the bottom switch the headphones all right so 3d cursor is right there no problem shift a bring it a circle rotate x90 hit G and then move it over roughly the center and S to scale make sure you're on the stage when you do that sometimes I'm over here and I hit S and it does, doesn't it doesn't work all right. to do with the toggle switch. We're going to edit mode and have to make a face first of all. And I'll stay in that. And let's have a look. So we're going to come in and we're going to go up and down and then we're going to make the toggle switch. Okay, so we're going to give it some thickness first of all. Let's not forget that. E and pull it up. Not too high. Just a short one like that. Okay. Let's hit uh, I the inset and come into here. Start forming the wall of this thing. E to extrude, we'll bring it up. I to inset to do this part. And then E to extrude and pull it down. Like that for the moment. Like that. Okay. So it's a different size from this. That's good. All right, cool. Um. Let's control A rotation and scale. And let's go in here and do some beveling of uh, this and this. Maybe I can grab all three of these rings and bevel them at the same time. We'll see about that bottom one. Yeah, that looks good. Just like that. You know, we can smooth this. I might get some weird <coughs> stuff, but we can we can adjust that later. Okay, now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to select this bottom face and I'm going to go Shift S cursor to select it. So I bring my 3D cursor right there. This might be a rather large toggle switch. Um, Shift A and let's bring in a UV sphere. Rotate X90 and scale it down. And then what I was thinking we could do is um, flatten it a bit, scale it in the Y, flatten it a little bit, and you know we'll figure out how deep to make it. But I could go into it and side view. So I'm going to edit mode and vertex, deselect everything, and I'm going to chop off the back of it just that much. Come back out. And I still have that, which I could smooth, of course. And that could be in there. And, um, you know, I'm not sure. How about scale shift Y? You know, something like that. I don't know. 
I don't know if that's gonna look right anyhow, but let's just do it. And let's do shift S cursor to select it on that. And let's bring in, um, let's bring in a cylinder again, but let's go back to 32 and everything else is okay. second here let's get into face view you think about this toggle switch <clears throat> I think what we want to do is e scale it out set and bring it up a little bit more. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just thinking about it. Um, if I just smooth that, it's not going to look that great. Um, did I want it in a little bit there? I think I did. I think what I wanted to do, select all those and let's scale shift Y. Still thinking, yeah, that's messed up. So, okay, first of all, let's get that out of here. All right, um, dun, 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 dun. pull that all the way down. I think I want it like that, anyhow. I'm still thinking. About, uh, well, let's bevel a bit. Actually, let's go back. I'll do rotation and scale one more time. Yeah. Let's get into edit mode and edge, and let's grab, let's grab that edge there. Let's bevel that. Let's even consider beveling this guy here. We're so mean to it down there. And these. It will help if I do a subdivision surface, though. Um, yeah, and that's what I was thinking of doing. Now, it's a bit of a weird toggle switch, but I, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. Is it, like, is it big enough? Is it toggle switch? Or too big? Can you just go with it? too long though. I think it's too long. It's just that kind of way. Yeah, we could we could do something like that. Yeah. I'm not gonna apply the subdivision surface yet. I just want to look at this and think of whether or not that should be done differently. I think I like it like that a bit better. Now, a lot of you probably would be putting subdivision surfaces on these things, and I, I wouldn't blame you one bit. Um, I don't really think I need to. So, and I, 
you know, if I start throwing in an edge loop here, which will fix up some of that smoothing, I just don't like if I want it that sharp. Yeah, I certainly don't want that. I think it looks fine the way it is. Um, okay, so what I was thinking though was, I can't, no, I can't, I can't edit that. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna put some more text in here. So, uh, shift S cursor to select it, and by the way, origin geometry, great. Shift A, let's bring some text in here, rotate X90. We'll scale it down. And I was thinking of putting some text sort of above. Okay. And uh, let's go over here. And for our text, let's choose that agency font. Using that 3D cursor. I was thinking maybe this position could be SP SPKRS for speakers. That's gonna change. Uh, let's do origin geometry again. Uh, okay. And let's do uh, some of this. Um, I may be putting something around here so it might interfere so I don't want to commit too much yet let's go a little bit deeper like that say speakers and this one could be um, HP for headphones all that would have been explained in the instruction manual so I don't have to necessarily do it okay it's busy it is busy in there but so far so good how are we doing time wise getting close to half an hour okay well I'm thinking about trying one more thing here um, before I do that though yeah I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that all right um, let me let me get an idea together and I'll get back to you in a minute so I don't know what you're gonna think about this but just have a look over here all right as sort of a scale that shows an increment for turning this knob all right you know the knobs here and I go rotate Y and as you turn it you know it points towards these these things here um, you know there's various designs you could do but I was thinking about something like that all right and I thought uh, I'll show you how I did it I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not so I'll show you how I did that all right so we're just back here in our regular layer I've got my cursor to select it right there what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this knob shift D and I'm gonna move that into another layer so there moved into that layer there and that's all I've got with that um, cursor selected I'm gonna go shift A and I'm gonna choose curve circle rotate X90 and I'm gonna scale it down until it's just about the periphery of that all right so there's a, that's a curve it's not a mesh now I'm gonna go ahead and hide the knob and there's my curve make sure shift F 
desk cursor is selected. Shift A, and I'm going to bring in, in my case, I want to try it with a cube. I'm going to scale it down, and I'm going to make the little tick marks. So I'll scale it relatively small. Okay, uh, we can scale this in the X like that. We can scale it in the Z a little bit more, and we'll scale it in the Y like that. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go Control A, Rotation and Scale, and then I'm going to add an array in the X, and I'm going to give it some space, and you can experiment with how much, and a count, and I'm just, just going to go with 15. You can try more or less. All right. I'm going to go ahead and apply that array, and then I'm going to go into edit mode and select them all. Then what you do is come over to, to the left side and choose bisect. Now, you, you have to have everything selected. Click bisect, and then left click with your mouse and slide through and cut through. You will get this. Now, there's a couple of settings as you let go. You could choose fill or not fill, clear outer or not. I'm choosing clear outer so it gets rid of those top ones. And fill means that the tops will be filled as opposed to open. All right, just like that. Go back into object mode. All right, so, so far I've got that. And you may or may not have liked that cut, but let's give it a try now. I've selected this. Go to, mod to uh, modifiers again, choose curve, and with the eyedropper, select the curve that you did there. Now you get this effect. All right, now if I bring back Alt H, that knob, uh, it doesn't work yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, see, I don't, want, I don't want the knob selected, just this. Grab the X and pull, but it's really easier to see without that. So once again, I do this, but notice that my transform tool is being pulled over there. As it gets further and further away, just come on up here and go set origin to 3D cursor and it'll pop back in the middle. And what I want to do is I want to turn this to about the 12 o'clock position. So this one is at 12 o'clock, kind of like the start. Now you can do whatever you want here, but that's what I'm going to do. I also know that my knob is about this width, so I'm going to choose the, the pull this X arrow and I'm going to pull them outwards a bit. Now I can bring back the knob and I can just continue to do this. Just make sure the knob is not selected, just your dots. And position this where you think you would like it. Now they're going to be too high, I'm going to want them to go into the body of the guitar. I'm also going to go Control A, Rotation and Scale again. And I'm going to add the bevel modifier. Alright, and then just get a nice bevel that you like. I mean, let's say I like that. You can try smoothing. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I don't need the knob really anymore. I've already got one on the other surface. I'm going to keep the curve. I'm going to take this though, and I can move this to my first layer. It's associated with the curve. And maybe it's too low. There we go. And they start to show up there. And now let's look at these. Oh, those are looking kind of nice. And if I like that, I can edit it. I can do more editing, but I don't think I need to. If I like it, I'm just going to go back through my modifiers, apply and apply. I can now go to this second layer and I can delete that curve. I don't need it. Back to my first layer. And I've got this safe. And now I can try my best to, you know, shift D and position this. Uh, around the other ones. And it, it might take a little bit of work and it may not work that well or look that good, but you know, you just spend a little bit of time on it and you know, maybe it works for you. <laughs> Hopefully, Shift D, G. I'm not going to worry too much right now just for the sake of time. All right, so we get that effect there. Oh, you like that? Not, I mean, that's what I came up with. Um, rotate Y, let's have the gain way up. Rotate Y, we'll have that up there. Rotate Y, we'll have that one. Maybe, maybe there. Turn it way up. 
It's just going to look a little bit weird. The gain is upside down, but you know. By the way, if you ever do one of those and you go, oh, I don't like the fact that it rotated, it just come back up here, rotation, and just put it back to zero, wherever you started with. All right? Rotate Y. Let's turn the volume up. Not, and of course, I can go past that, but let's just do something like that for a moment. All right, so that's what we got so far. Um, you could just decide if you want these lower to the body. Perhaps it might look better. Hmm. Might or might not. All right, anyways, that's our progress so far. We'll pick it up in the next video.